Hi, I'm Chris from Mersive. I'm going to be talking about Solstice 2.0. Um, we released Solstice 1.0 in March of last year. 2.0 really is representative of what the market needs for collaboration when they walk into a conference room, a uh, large format venue, classrooms, anywhere like that to be able to connect any device that, you're, that you bring into that meeting to make it meaningful, uh, be able to publish data to that display. So the way it works, you walk into a conference room, click your connect button on any device, Android phones, iOS tablets, laptops, and once you're connected to the screen, you're able to stream any media to that display. 2.0 highlights some really interesting features. One is it's a what you see is what you get interface. So I look down at my iPad, I see what is on the main screen. If I want to rearrange media or control its layout, I simply drag it on that display and it'll change on the main screen. If I want something out of view, I drag it out of view and it's now in the deck until I want to bring it back in an ad hoc way. So that really supports this conversational aspect of collaboration that many of the sort of hardware-based products just can't do. Uh, the second feature is full iOS mirroring support. In the iPad, uh, we're able to actually display basically the entire screen on the screen, and you're using that using the built-in AirPlay protocol from Apple. So if I walk into a meeting and I have a particular app that I happen to love and I want to show it in the meeting, I, I simply connect using that protocol. It's now displayed on the screen. That is also controllable and manageable by any other participant in the meeting. Solstice supports simultaneous control of any number of users, uh, any, any amount of content on the screen, live video streaming, audio playback as well. So the third feature that we're doing uh, here is actually interaction on the display itself. So if you've got a touch display in your conference room, or you've got a mouse on the host PC where Solstice is running, uh, you're able to actually control the media as well. So ima imagine a meeting where I'm in a conference room, I'm controlling media on the screen, and then I ask folks to say, hey, let's look at the marketing data, go ahead and stream your desktop. I can control on the main screen, bringing media in and out of view at will. So that's also really valuable. Um, one of the things you should take away as an integrator is that Solstice is software, which means flexibility. It's very flexible. If you look at some of our higher ed partners that are deploying hundreds of rooms, those hundreds of rooms are not all the same room. They're very different, in fact. So one of those rooms might be four students in a collaboration nook. They configure Solstice to be in round table mode where there's no moderator rights. Everyone can post freely. The technology doesn't get in the way of their, their collaboration session. Same software installed in a very large 120 person classroom can be configured to allow a moderator to accept connections from students or reject them, accept posts when students at the back of the room want to post something so that you can avoid you know, disruption. And then the same software is now making itself uh, available in public spaces on campuses, corporate boardrooms, etc. So it's incredibly flexible. It operates with what you already have in the room. So the AV touch panel is controllable via Solstice. So we have an API. If you've got an AMX or Crestron panel, we can talk to that as well.